Pride is living in your authenticity. My name is Leith Ashley. I'm a singer, songwriter, activist, model, and actor. I am out as a transgender man. It's something that's relatively new for people to, you know, even hear or talk about. And I think that being visible is so important because there are a lot of young people that haven't seen themselves in the media or don't have an image of what they could be and they could be anything that they want to be and you can be successful and be who you are in this world. Being out has taught me that I'm a lot stronger than I thought I was. Uh, for a long time, I had so much fear, and I, I just didn't know if I could be myself. I didn't know if I would be accepted. And uh, as I got older and I kind of became more comfortable in my own skin, I realized that none of that really mattered as long as I loved and loved myself and I was living true for me. My first pride was in uh, summer of 2008. It was right after my first year in college. And I remember being, being happy to be out um, with my friends and, and seeing you know, all the queer people just having a good time. Um, but it was actually not the most positive experience because uh, my family wasn't necessarily the most accepting at the time. And I come from a pretty religious background. And when I went out and I saw some of the, uh, the religious folks that were out there holding signs, it kind of um, it made me feel guilty for being out there. And I ended up leaving. So that's what happened my first Pride, and I kind of ran back into the closet for a little bit. It wasn't until um, after I actually graduated college that I became more comfortable with myself, and I, I was more comfortable in my own skin, and I had gone on my own journey, that I was able to go back to Pride, and this is Pride in New York, and actually have a good time and enjoy myself, and I, wasn't, I was able to walk by those folks that were holding up those signs and not even really pay them any mind, kind of wish them well and continue having fun. Someone from LGBTQ history that I admire um, is Marsha P. Johnson. And uh, actually, both Mar Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera, they were out and they were being who they were before we even had language to describe who they were. And they were called then maybe transvestites, um, which isn't something that's commonly used anymore. They were often told to be quiet and to step down when they were speaking on behalf of the entire community, and they did it anyway. So I really, I really again, I honor them and appreciate their activism. And I think as we continue, we should always remember them. The fight isn't over. We still don't have equitable rights in, the, in America. Trans women are still being killed and slaughtered on the streets on a daily basis. A lot of folks even within our own community don't even know. Like the tea is being left out completely sometimes and I'm here to say hey we exist and we need we need we need allies even within our own community. I hope that um, my being visible and anything that I've done in media, in, in my activism, can open doors for young people that come, come after me, for sure. That's definitely it. And obviously to honor those that came before me as well.